Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick, and you're watching Gas Tax. Right behind me is my 2004 R32. I am going to be giving it a box today because it has been neglected for quite some time. What I have right here is what Matt Mormon from Obsessed Garage recommends for decontaminizing this car's paint. The reason I want to get this step done right now is because it is getting cold. And here in Chicago, as most of you know, it gets really cold. I want to get this car inside my shop so I can start working on it and making sure it is road worthy and ice race ready for this winter season. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, be sure to check them out uh, where I actually assemble my dream garage here. But also, in relation to this video, this is a, a weird closet that came, you know, built into my house here. But this is where I have all my car cleaning products. So I'll be using my pressure washer, my rinse buckets, my decontamination stuff to make sure this thing is looking pretty. So the first step in this process is filling up my foam cannon right here with five ounces of the decontamination soap. A few moments later. I have my five ounces or 250 milliliters. All right, so this is what Matt does. I'm just following his rules because uh, he knows what to do. And I spent all the money buying this stuff from him because I believe he knows what he's doing. So from there, what Matt does is make sure this is swished around uh, the soap. That way your foam cannon doesn't just, uh, what's it called? Uh, suck the soap out. So now that that's done, on to the clean. Show you what I just used here. I used the decon soap. Uh, I gave it two coats here. I'm sure that's too much, but hey, soap looks cool. So now, uh, what Matt recommends is you let this sit, fill up your wash bucket, which I'll do now, uh, with the regular Adams car shampoo and the car mitt, and then give the car a whole hand wash. is down now we got to rinse off the car spray some or well, dry it because I believe this paint is pretty bad and then we'll do the iron X so let's rinse it off dry it off as much as we can and then hit it with some iron X rinsed off now uh, need to dry it and then spray some iron X on it so I'm gonna hand dry quick with the towel 
and then blow dry it with some areas, uh, some, some areas, and then go from there. I keep a Alrighty, so I just used the INX there and Matt Moman says spray liberally. I took that literally and I used half a bottle. <laughs> uh, but as you can see, uh, these purple streaks is what uh, it, it is doing. It's removing all the iron. So you can see there's quite a bit. There's purple everywhere. You can see they look like little worms in some areas. Uh, he says, let this sit for five minutes. Look at that. All of that is just purple. Ooh. <laughs> the car's bleeding. And yes, it smells pretty funky. Look how, oh my God, look at that. All the purple on the rims. <laughs> They should make more car cleaning products. So you don't mean to spray the calipers, uh, but I'm replacing my calipers and my eroders, I think. But anyways, I'm not too hard. So they should make more car cleaning products that you can visually see it working. So let this sit for five minutes and then uh, let me double check. Says don't let it dry and rinse thoroughly. So then we can start the clay process. So good thing there's barely any sun out, so it's not gonna dry, but I'll give it another two more minutes and I will start rinsing it off. But that is pretty cool. two of a four-step process that needs to get done so now we're going to go on to the nano skin and uh, the clay bar or the whatever it's called what is this called eliminate clay so I'm gonna spray it liberally now the car is actually looking pretty nice uh, and I'm gonna do each panel starting with the gloss and the roof and This should take quite some time uh, Or will take quite some time but it's part of the process to Making this R8 look as good as new <laughs> R8 there's the R8 this R32 <laughs> as good as new So, let's see what I've done here. So I just finished claying the car, so that's, let me see. The decontamination soap was first, then the INX, then there's a nano skin, which we just did with the clay, both the clay and I did it with uh, those clay eliminators. Now the car needs a rinse off, and then we final, Finalize the decamination, de decontamination <laughs> wash uh, by just spraying this and wiping it all over the car and then rinsing it again. And then we are done 
with decontaminizing this paintwork. Then I'm gonna put the car on the lift and call it a day. Guys, I'm actually uh, gonna call it quits. I just read up about this. Uh, I don't really need this. This is more for adhesive removing and uh, like tar behind your your wheel well. I, you know, if it fixed rust, that would be great. Just spritz a little of this goodness on here and remove that rust. But I don't think it does that. So that's it for the decontamination uh, car wash on my 2004 R32 my dream car growing up uh so thanks for tuning in be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because now that my garage is done my car is here i'm gonna be uploading a lot of videos about what exactly is wrong with this upgrading a couple things and getting ready for the ice racing season and those tires over here will be <laughs> studded with 200 plus studs per tire. I will be lifting the, the car about three inches so I can have some fun this winter. So thanks a lot. As always, be sure to hit the like and see you next time. It's resting home for the next month while I go through everything that's wrong with my R32. Thanks again.